here joined by a very, very good friend of ours who is uh, very fortunate to be joining us uh, as, of course, just to give you some context about what happened yesterday. Um, big news, our very good friends, Frank the Crank Camacho, uh, my cousin, and also Cookie Alvarez, his coach, uh, were training for UFC 263, uh, involved in a, I believe, a four-car uh, car accident on the 405 in California. And if you know anything about uh, traffic in the Golden State, that is a uh, very, very busy bit of freeway there. Uh, Frank, fortunately, um, to come away from that with uh, with very minor injuries. So Frank is joining us right now in the, in the Zoom room. I want to let him tell the story in his own words. Uh, Primo, good morning, man. And I got to say, you know, prayers mm -hmm. up. Uh, we're really, really glad um, that you and Kuki are both okay. So welcome to the show. Yo, good morning, guys. Hello. Hi, Sabrina. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and as we man, understand it, you you're, you're not alone in your room as you do your uh, recuperation, right? Who else you got? Yeah, actually, so I, I just got to San Diego. Uh, I, was, I was in Irvine, and I just got to San Diego, and look who's joining us this morning. Yay! Hey. 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 Oh, she's smiling. <laughs> Good morning, yeah, little so, one. Oh. Yes, yeah, so, I mean it's it's uh it's two p.m. over here. So Sarah and Catalina just got up. You know, I just I just uh -huh. came in. Uh, I, I came in from Irvine. Um, they came in yesterday. So when all of this stuff happened, when I got into that that crazy accident, uh, they were they just boarded the plane on uh to Hawaii. So I was oh, wow. like, uh, well. Well, first off, thank goodness that I was able, still able to text her and message her. Yes. Um, first off, the 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 accident was wild. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I'm man, I'm a, it, it really like strengthened the 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 belief of a of a higher power of the man upstairs of God or whoever. You know how how a lot of other people like to to you know to to think of 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 God, right? And man. He was up there and he was watching Cookie and I. Like we were, we were on the 405. Apparently, the 405 is is notorious for, uh, you know, like, I mean, you're 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 traveling at high speed. You know, <laughs> you're not traveling. You're not you're not driving in yeah. Palanta and Zonia. You know what I mean? Like you're going, <laughs> you're going fast. You know, you're going like 75, 80 miles an hour. And uh, so something happened when we were driving. I was driving a, a, a truck, uh, a, a Tacoma, and. All we heard was tires screeching, and then uh, we just uh, we were driving. I was driving, and then I got smacked on the driver's side uh, by this car that lost control, and the car just our truck like went forty five degrees, almost perpendicular to the to the uh, interstate. So we were drifting. As that was happening, oh this the, the truck slammed into the center um, concrete like a divider, mm -hmm. and ricocheted off and flew over our truck hood, bro. Like that it flew over and it, and it just and it just missed us. Like it flew over the hood of the truck. It flew over the hood of the truck and then it checks. It landed on the Lamborghini, or on a Ferrari. <laughs> it landed on a, a, a black Ferrari, and then. As of all of this was happening, we were bird's eye view, you know, like we weren't seeing this like on the rear view mirror, like it was happening in front of us. So like it was, we we're right in the mix cooking and uh, uh, so that was happening. And then to the right of us, it was like four or five lanes on the 405, man, cars were just slamming, boom, boom, spinning, flipping. And we were just there, smoke, metal were flying. And all of this, while this was going on, Cookie was like, stay in control, stay in control, Frank, stay in control, Frank. I don't know what happened. It was like, uh, it was like, I, I, I was just in hyper focus. I don't know, heightened senses of survival. I, I don't know what you want to call it. God, you know, there's, it was, it was surreal, you know, and, and we only got hit once all of the, the debris, these cars were flipping. And somehow, some way, oh shit, hold on. Ah, oh, my bad. I'm getting excited telling the story. Uh, somehow, some way, we 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 just kind of jolt. We found like a little hole in all of this mm -hmm. chaos, and we we the truck, our truck came out, and then yeah. everything else behind us was like spinning. Cars were getting, were crashing into each other, whatever, right? And then uh, I just pulled off like a uh, about a, a like a like four. 
quarter of a mile down the street, like uh, the freeway on the right side. And yo, know, you, I was, we were just tripping out. Like we were freaking out. And and the crazy thing was that, like, I I just remember seeing my phone that they were that these guys were bo- uh, my my wife and Catalina were boarding the uh, the airplane to Hawaii, you know, to come out to watch me for my fight that's happening this weekend. That was supposed to happen this weekend. Mm-hmm. And, dude, I just remember I just started crying. I just started bawling, you know? Like, it, it, it was so weird. It was like, you know, man, motions and craziness. And Cook was just comforting me. He's like, hey, man, crank, it's all right. It's all right, man. And I was, and I just, I just said to him, like, I was like, wow, it's so crazy that, that, uh, so Catalina, she's uh, three months. Mm. Like, yo, like, she could have, she could have grown up without a dad, you know, she could have grown up not knowing me. You know what I mean? Like, um, and my boys, my boys would have only had a few years of knowing who, who their dad was, you know, like, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was, it was, it was so surreal. And, and I'm, and I'm honestly, I'm so, I'm so glad that, that cook, that cook was, cook was out there with me. Cause I just picked him up uh, from the airport from Saipan, you know, and, he was, it was all good, you know, he, he was updating his stories and he was saying, hey, dude, like, hey, you know, just everything, you know, we, we had a good training session that morning, we went to go get headgear and then this happened, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and the crazy part was, like, we were just talking about it, we laugh about it now, you know, uh, like, or like, not laugh about it, but we, 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 we talk about how he came out to corner me for a big fight, you know? He came out to corner me for a big fight, an important fight for my career, when really he was cornering me and coaching me through all that chaos of staying, just to stay calm. And it was really the, truthfully, the fight of our life, like literally, you know? Um. So yeah, and you know, people were asking me like, hey, how is, like, hey, who, who's the one that hit you guys? I'm like, man, honestly, I don't know, and 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 I really do hope that those guys are okay or even alive, man. It was wild. And then perspective, it was even crazier. Was when I was when I googled it at the so it happened like at four thirty p.m. on Monday, uh, here on here in California. When I googled the to see the accident, it on the four hundred five six or seven articles came up of accidents during that time. So it was just like, wow, this happens on a freaking daily. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and while we, you know, while I was in the hospital cooking it, we we're just talking about it. Like, you know, it's so wild, dude, is that, you know, there's, there's people and there's families mourning right now, you know, like, like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, and we, yeah, and we came and, you know, like, yeah, and when I when I got to the hospital, you know, uh, so we the the ambulance picked us up, picked me up, and Cookie came with me, and uh, I so when when I got hit, I I slammed my head and my neck like my neck, I guess a, a whiplash mm-hmm. on uh on the you know where you where you pull your seatbelt that that thing on the car that post on the car like near the window, just went whack. Cause when we got whacked by the, um, by that big white truck that, that hit us, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so yeah. So when I got to the hospital that, you know, we, we, they, they recommended that I got a CT scan just to check my brain. Right. Make sure there's no bleeding, no nothing. X-rays to see that I, I didn't break any bones. So good thing was no broken bones with the X-ray brain was good, uh, with the CT scan. Um, but the weird thing was with the CT scan, they saw that there was some inflammation on my spine and on my neck. So they ordered an MRI. And when they M- ordered the MRI, they saw uh, that you know, I had like four herniated discs. So um, I, I now I'm just, they recommended that I rest. And then the next few days, I'm going to start seeing like physical therapists and see some doctors, you know, while I'm out here. And uh, yeah, so obviously... Uh, when all of this was happening, I, I messaged my manager. You know, we we spoke to the UFC and we we had to pull off from the fight, right? Uh, the, this weekend, so um, yeah, the 
that's kind of the, the the spell. Yeah, well, Crank, you're, get, you're getting a lot of love wow. and a lot of support right now in our comments, and people are saying, you know, like God is good and God, God had your back and, and was watching out for you and protecting you. So, and you know, as, as soon as we found out, we immediately jumped on the show and we said, you know, you know, we know Frank's a family man. He's a man of faith. You know, we we all know his character, and he, he prays for all of you. So, send your prayers upstairs for for Frank and Cookie too. Yeah, you man, and then Cookie. Bro, that guy's like a tank, man. He 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 didn't even get hurt, you know. So yeah. it really, someone was really watching over us. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's kind of one of those one of those experiences where you you uh, um, you just kind of like, I, I I guess I just see I'm seeing like life in it and with a different lens. You know what I mean? And so, um, Frank, Frank, can you bring can you bring on Sarah? Because I want to get like some of her perspective on what she was, you know, what she was going through. Because you said. You were actually texting her in while yeah. you were in the ambulance and while she was in the air, right? Yeah, she was in the air. I was like, oh my goodness, you know, like uh, I was trying to stay calm, but um, yeah, yeah, hold on, she's right here. Say hey, hi. Sarah. Hi, everyone. Oh, okay, Sarah. Sarah hi. Yeah, Sarah. We are so so glad, and our, our prayers out for your entire family and everything like that. But can you, if you don't mind, can you kind of take us back through? what you were going through and how you dealt with it. Because obviously, you know, Frank was saying, you know, he's thinking about you and the kids, but you know, you're also thinking about, um, you know, your husband and the father of your children. And, you know, just with you guys being completely separated and yet still in communication and everything like that, what were you going through? So uh, when I received the word, I was, I had just landed in Hawaii and I didn't have Wi-Fi on my phone and I'm traveling alone with my baby. So of course, at that time, it was just kind of chaotic already. So um, fortunately, Cause Endo was there. He was transiting as well. And he was helping me with my daughter and my my auntie who works at Hawaii uh, airport. She was helping me too. So fortunately, I had a couple people with me. And so we were running through the gate, uh, the terminal, trying to get to my plane because I was running late. So it was just kind of chaotic already. And then I finally get there. I'm like running to the bathroom, doing last minute things, changing her diaper. Okay, they're calling us to board. And I, I just thought, man, maybe I should just hook up to Wi-Fi. Just I should just check my check my messages, tell Frank I'm I'm boarding the plane now. And I'll just do that. You know, it was just a last minute decision I decided to do. And so in the midst of all that chaos, I get on the Wi-Fi. And I instantly see a photo that Frank sent me and it, he was in a neck brace. That's all I could see. So I'm like, oh man, something must have happened during training. And then following that photo was a voicemail. And so I'm sitting there with my daughter and Cause is there, my auntie's there. And, and I'm while I'm listening to the voicemail, um, they're just kind of like, you know, helping me get, get my stuff together. And then I hear what Frank's saying. He's saying he just got into a car accident. So I'm just kind of like, wait, hang on, what's going on? You know, like my brain was still trying to process everything. My auntie's looking at me, she can hear Frank and she's just trying to calm me down, you know, like, okay, he's okay. He's telling you he's okay, just relax. And so um, it was, it was pretty emotional, but it was, I was just so blessed that my auntie was there Hmm. because she can, she's just kind of like, okay, Sarah, get it together. You still need to go to Denver. You still need to go to California. Your daughter needs you. Frank is fine. And and so I'm just so blessed that she was with me. Um, I really couldn't process everything at that moment because they were already calling me. And it was just, it was pretty crazy. And then I think I just had to, I remember just a point where I just looked down because my auntie took the baby and she was lying on her lap. And I was just kind of like, trying to figure out what to do, how, what's going on. Okay, so Frank, I, and all I can hear, right, because it's a voice, you know, he's just telling me what happened. I hear like the beeping of the, the machines in the background. So I really don't know at this point what happened, how he's doing, if he's okay, can he walk? Yes, he's alive, but what, what's, the, what's the state? Um, so it was, it was pretty crazy. But at that point, I remember just looking down at my daughter and she's looking at me. She's just kind of giving me this look like, okay, mom, like what's going on? So she's like, you know she what? Knows. Whatever happened, 
Frank, Frank's okay. I just need to get there. I need to get my shit together because my daughter needs me and we have a long trip to go. So my auntie, she calmed me down. She's like, okay, Sarah, get it together. Get your stuff together. Your daughter, she needs you. So, you know, we're going to help. She walked me to the front because she, you know, she works at the airport. And then I just kind of like gathered my thoughts and gathered myself and just pulled myself together and got on the plane. And it, it was kind of a rough ride, right? It was very packed. And there was a baby, a, a mama with a baby right next to me. And it was kind of like one of those rough flights, but I think it was good because it just was so distracting the whole mm -hmm. time. And I didn't really get to like sit there and, you know, be sad or whatever. I was just kind of like, okay, I need to, you know, she was being fussy. The baby next to me was being fussy and it was just kind of like, okay, get it together. You need to take care of the baby. You need to help the mama next to you, you know? And then we finally got here. And then I talked, I video time Frank good you know he was smiling and i was like okay he's okay he's fine that's all that matters and you know oh it was great i woke up super because i'm so jet lag and tired. he was the one that woke me up it was a way to wake up this morning and we're all together he's fine he's smiling well, Sarah, Sarah I got I got to tell you, I've, you know, we've known you for years here. You've been a very good friend, of, you know, to our company, to our team, to our show and everything. I'm I'm glad, you know, there wasn't any drama on the plane. And, you know, you had that support system and family, because if if you say if you sat next to a Karen, right, or somebody like tried to mess with you, <laughs> considering the emotional state you were in, with all due respect to your husband's fight record, you probably would have choked a few people out on that flight. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> You are so right. I cannot, I cannot imagine. No. <laughs> I've seen no, uh, Sarah's was... training videos. <laughs> no, it was it was great. Actually, the, the girl that was sitting next to me, she was from the Marshall Islands. And so it, we were just kind of, you know, bonding as moms. And oh, good. I didn't share with I didn't share with anyone my situation because I didn't you know, it's not like I don't want to make her trip depressing you know like I don't want to put my emotions on anyone and she was kind of having a rough time I was kind of having a rough time we were just kind of helping each other mm -hmm. and uh, you know she's from the island so we were talking about home and it was just it was really what I needed um mm -hmm. and not to focus on something I had no control over you know so uh it, it kept my mind off of things and we were just helping each other you know, I don't know if you know how it feels to travel with a baby by yourself, but it's pretty stressful. I do. Especially when, so you know, has got a lot of experience in that like, area. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've done it. I've done it quite a few times, but, uh, you know, this time was a little bit different because I was just high. Everything was just so heightened. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I made it. <laughs> Well, Sarah, I made you, it through. Yeah. I got it to California. Yeah, you use the per I you use the perfect word, and you use the word focus. And you know, you are a filmmaker and you are a storyteller. So, could I ask you, as as we let you guys go, because we want to let you guys like rest and recuperate, because you guys have been through so much. If you could maybe frame yourself and your whole family, there you go. I I'd like to get all three of you in the shot because you guys are Aww. together and you guys are okay, and that and that's really what's the most important thing right now. Yo, man, yes, you know, like. Uh... You know, I, I, I could have won a billion dollars. I could have won fight of the night. I could have won all of this, but that could have easily been taken away at an instant with this, uh, uh, with something that we do every day, and that's driving, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, like, I, I, I just... So I, I made a video with Cookie. We went and we got ice cream, and, <laughs> you know, with, with a $5 ice cream, we were celebrating life, you know what I mean? Like, wow, like... Like, dude, we're, we're you know we're talking about this and we're 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 cheersing our ice cream and we're doing all of this and that, but it's like, yo, man, we're like we're we could have easily been on a plane back home in a box. Yeah, I want. We're, we're yeah. so we're so happy you, know? you you are okay. Yeah. So yeah, please, man. I, you know, and, and uh, you guys just man, hug hug each other like just a little harder and a little tighter and. You know, uh, call someone that you haven't spoke to in a long time and just tell them you love them. Like, man, for real. Like, uh, this is really, this is a, just perspective. And um, I'm so glad. I'm so I'm so glad to. You know, so th that's the first time I heard that story. Because I'm I'm just seeing Sarah like for the first time right now. You know, since <laughs> this whole fight camp. Yeah. 
but I do want to say thank you to everyone that's been reaching out in all the comments and every everything, the, the wishes. It's yeah, you know, it's a uh, truly a blessing that mm -hmm. it always happens to Frank. <laughs> in the craziest situations, he always <laughs> turns out okay because God's always watching him, honestly. Okay, and, and be honest, and you guys, so, how many how many DMs have you guys gotten in the last like forty hours or so? Oh man, I I don't know. I haven't <laughs> I haven't checked. I didn't even it's know DMs go up that high. <laughs> Yeah. It, it's a it's a good overwhelming right, feeling right. Yeah. uh constant constant messages and lots of love and care and it's it's, it's great so thank you everyone that's watching and 100 percent doing yeah. all the wishes it means a lot to us honestly right. thank yeah. you i really really do believe in the power of prayer so right on guys yeah. thank you amen uh my man frank just uh fight related real quick i don't know if you asked him this but the last bout you caught the covid then this one you caught the car crash so uh, looking looking ahead, uh, any sign on when the next bout will be? And uh, I mean, just mentally, I know that's got to be frustrating because yeah. in your last, Do, fight, yeah, so, I remember so, you were really my so, good to get in there. Yeah, so uh, I have, uh, the, the I, I spoke to the UFC when I was out there or, or when I was in the hospital and I just told them everything. They're like, hey, man, take care of your health. You know, we'll, we'll go see some doctors, uh, and, um, you know, heal up first. And then when you're ready, we will reschedule your, uh, uh, whatever, you know, we'll, we'll get you back on a card, you know? And, uh, like I'm on a, on a funnier, on a funnier note, I, I messaged Matt Frivola. I was like, Hey man, best of luck this week. You know, uh, best wishes on the weight cut uh, Matt Frivola, the guy that I was supposed to fight yeah, this yeah. week. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, he, so this is the second time that I'm supposed to fight him. He said, uh, he was like, hey, man, uh, man, please get well, heal up, and let me, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we get to run it back because it's going to be a good fight. I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to fight you anymore, bro. Just <laughs> back, like, Must be a sign, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to fight you no more, dude. <laughs> his name reminds anyway, me of a, yeah, it's, his, his name kind of sounds like it's a cheese, right? Like, hey, that frivola, you ever had a nice grilled cheese with a frivola? The frivola. Yeah. The frivola. <laughs> hey, well, crank real quick. We, we have probably, I mean, you, you know, we're inviting you guys to come check out the comments because there's so many that are supportive, that are, you know, thankful. All you oh, guys no way. I... Best, com best comment right now, I'm going to say, is from uh, Aaron Redoble. And Aaron writes, Crank, your angel is right next to you. Yeah. Meaning both Aww. Of uh, oh, get a room. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a room. I got yeah. you. For the uh -oh. first time. Hey, hey, three kids is enough. Number four. Yeah, here we go. You heard it here first on the link. Dry run. <laughs> All right. Sarah, Frank, thank you. Always a pleasure to catch up with you guys. And, hey, and good luck. Oh, my neck, man. Chris. Oh. <laughs> I need a massage, babe. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. Have fun, kids. Hey, love you guys. <laughs> That's, uh, Bye, take care, guys. guys. All right. We're back with more of the link next. Good morning, Guam. Help us celebrate. KUAM's multi-platform morning show, The Link, just got a little more delicious with Feed Me Fridays. Chris, Sabrina, Jason, and the rest of the morning crew will take some time.